Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about my first experience working on a film. Um, I was not actually looking to work in a film. Um, I, I, I just have never really wanted to work in film. Um, I've always kind of wanted to work in the commercial side of things. Um, I like I like those projects. I like the fast pace of some of those projects. I like the constant change in projects. Um, so commercial has kind of always been where I've wanted to be. Um, but this opportunity came up and I, I had to do it. I mean, it's it's a film, right? It's an animated feature. Um, so me um, and one other guy, we had to do, uh, I think it was like 180 shots in five weeks. Um, it, it, that's a crazy schedule by any anybody's anybody's uh, uh, skill level. 180 shots of anything um, is crazy, um, but we got it done. Um, I I had been touching Houdini a little bit on my free time, um, and I got asked if I could step in and do some crowd simulations. Um, we had to do we had, basically had to fill scenes with crowds. We had to fill stands with crowds. We. We had to get all those things done, prepped, ready, sent out, so that way the rest of the lighters and the compers could do what they needed to do. Um, but it wasn't really difficult. It was just really tedious. And and luckily, I was working with a fantastic TD that had built the systems and done all the stuff for us, the kind of all the legwork to get it all done. So all I really needed to do is listen to direction, point and click, and like listen to what he was saying, do it quickly, move on to the next scene. Um, the reason I bring this up though, is because I would not have had this opportunity, um, if I wasn't open to having this opportunity. Um, my entire career has been about learning and growing and then helping. Um, I've learned more over the years about how much more I need to help in certain areas and do certain things. But my entire career has been literally just filled with adapting, learning, growing, changing something, adapting, learning, and growing. Um, I started out as a video editor, as most of you know, and then I started into motion graphics, and it was 3D, um, and then it started getting to high-end 3D stuff, and then now lately, man, I, I've done mostly visual effects. Um, I haven't actually touched a motion graphic, like done a motion graphic piece in well over a year, which is crazy to me, um, but I've been consistently busy. Um, I started getting asked to do cloth sims in Houdini and then hair simulations, which I had never done in Houdini. And all this stuff really just came from me just spending a little bit of my free time um, on my lunches or coming in work a little bit early um, and studying a little bit to learn something new and and learning something new specific to what is needed for the team. Um, I knew that we we had a need um, where I work right now to, that needs an additional Houdini hand. Um, I don't need to be a supervisor or an FX TD or any of that kind of stuff. They just needed some hands. And so I started spending my extra time to do that. Um, I think if you're looking at, at trying to grow in this field or 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 learning you know new things and growing and you want to do this thing and you're, you're like, I got to do this or whatever, I, I, I want to say that what you need to really focus on is the needs of the team that you're with and see see if there's a hole that you could fill that 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 maybe you can see so so like my case i'm a motion graphic artist i got hired on as a senior motion graphic artist um but uh, the longer i was there i'm doing my tasks and doing the stuff but the longer i'm there the more i realize okay there's these certain things that that we just can't seem to find good people for or it's 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 really hard to outsource this or it's really hard to outsource that or we need additional help doing this. So if I have some extra time, why don't I learn that? And so I, I as far as advice goes for you, if you have an opportunity to do something that is a little bit outside of your world, um, whether you're a 2D animator or you're a motion graphic artist or you're an editor or whatever, if you have an opportunity to do something, because um, I know some of the editors I work with have actually, actually helped us do some some like 3D layout stuff. Um, do they know anything really about 3D? No, but they're willing and open to do those tasks, which which really helps the team. And I think that that, that helps build relationships and helps them grow, helps us grow, it helps the team grow, it helps us all realize that we're really in this together. And I think that if you're learning, if you're looking to learn and grow in this field, the best thing for you to do is to be open and willing to do things that are outside of your, your norm. Um, that kind of stuff is going to go so far to help you with relationships, which I think relationships are going to be the one of the most important things in, in this career is having good relationships and then maintaining those relationships. And that all comes from you being, being willing and open 
to help them in their time of need. Um, this goes for agencies. Um, anytime I've ever worked with agencies or other creatives or other people, truly, I'm just there to help. Like I, I, I need my clients and the people that are around me to understand that I'm just going to be there to help. I'm going to be the hands and feet as best as I can. And so I think if if you're able to to do some of those things, you're going to help let the team know that you're willing to help them in every area, whether it's this or that or the other, what, whatever it is in, the, in your field, just be willing and open to help them. Um, that's going to make your career skyrocket. And I think the more you focus on that, um, it actually makes – uh, uh, my inside, like the, the, my peace on the inside and how, how, uh, uh, happy I am on the inside better. Um, I actually feel more fulfilled every time that I'm able to help somebody do a project that is basically impossible. It's like, oh man, this is impossible. There's no way we could do 180 shots on a movie in five weeks. There's just no way. And then we show up, I show up, we sit down on the table, we discuss it and we work through it and we get it done. And, and that is incredibly satisfying. And I think uh, as far as young creatives or creatives that have been in there a long time that are just kind of burnt out, uh, maybe there's some things at, at your workplace or maybe there's some things that you can do as a freelancer to step outside of your world and maybe let other people and creatives know that you're willing to help um, in any way necessary. Um, I know that I, early in my career, man, I would go out and <laughs> I would hold lights or I would hold boom sticks or I would like show up on a shoot to just hold, you know, do something, you know, I, I was, I was involved in so many things and, and that's carried over now be basically sitting at the computer all the time. I do the same thing. Like I find, I see needs and I just show up and I'm like, okay, what can I do to help you? Um, what can I do to help relieve the stress and then talk through it and work through that? And I that has helped my career so much. And so I hope when you watch this video that you see some of the areas and places that you can work on at your your office, that you can just show up and just be like, you know what, I'm going to drop all the things that I'm doing right now, um, like my pride and stuff. Like I'm going to let that go so I can show up for these people that really need help. Um, because they're just drowning in their projects. They're having to stay late all night long and stay on the weekends to, to fix things and whatever. And maybe you can, you can show up for those guys and help them through maybe one of their problems. And so maybe in the future, they can help you through some of your stuff. Um, anyway, I hope that's a help. Um, that's just one of my experiences working on my first film. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little crazy to say that, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to IDB, you know, uh, uh, IMDB myself, but uh, it's pretty entertaining to say I worked on a movie. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a good week. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.